this day and age of hybrid and electric cars, it's still nice to find a good old throwback now and then. Tonight's cool car features one, the Lexus. Dennis Buterball has more. With black forged wheels and other performance bits scattered about, the Lexus IS500 certainly does look the part of a high performance sedan. You don't know how much performance until you pop the hood. That's a 5-liter V8 jammed into that small space. 472 horsepower in a car this size is pretty potent. Top speed is electronically limited to about 150 miles per hour. One of the most unusual styling details on this car is here in back. It's the exhaust pipes. Instead of being nice and symmetrical and flat, they're kind of staggered. Different, but I'm not sure I like it. Even with all that performance, there's still a lot of Lexus comfort inside. Most tech in the IS is definitely old school. This is how Lexus vehicles all looked years ago. I can't remember the last time I saw a CD player in a car, but it's here. The automatic is an 8-speed. This is the last Lexus model to use the clumsy finger mouse interface. While there's plenty of room up front, legroom in road 2 is tight. Despite all that horsepower going to the rear wheels only, the IS500 is civilized enough to drive every day. Acceleration is just as fierce as you'd imagine, but this is more of a grand touring car than a track day special. So, for the Lexus IS500, I say thumbs up to the rumbling V8 engine, terrific acceleration and excellent brakes. Thumbs down to the clumsy interface and tight back seat. Dennis Butterball, ABC 27 News. And Dennis averaged about 20 miles per gallon in the Lexus. He has her food sticker price just under 66000